Hey y'all, so today we're at Waking Nightmare, so let's check this land out. If you're new here, welcome. I am Shy in Second Life, and on this channel, we check out aesthetically pleasing places in the virtual world of Second Life, and I also sporadically do lifestyle vlogs, so if you're interested in content like this, go ahead and subscribe. So y'all, we checked out their haunted house already. It was super cool, and this land seems like it is going to be equally as cool so it's very much so giving ghoulish, very scary, very people used to live here but not anymore type vibes. I don't know what's going on with this, but okay. I always feel like when they have things on the land, I'm like, these are things that are very specific, like maybe movies. Fun fact, I've never seen a Jason movie. Not one. Not one. I've seen snippets. Snippets I have. I love the red on this car. I've seen snippets, but I've never watched one Jason movie. Not even, um, that's not even something that happened on purpose. I love a good scary movie. I don't know why I've never seen a Jason movie. To be totally honest, I really don't know why I haven't seen one, but I have not seen one. Perhaps that should be on my bucket list. I don't know. I know they have a lot. I'm like, am I too late to the game? Is it just like one of those things where it's like you should have caught it when it was really something to behold. Now it's kind of like a thing of the past. This water, mm -hmm. I talked about it in my last video. Very, very scary. Very, very scary. Um, very much so given cruise ship water. Very much so cruise ship water. And me and my son had got on the topic of like cruise ships and stuff like that. And he was like, well, what is like, what happened um, when you've gone on cruises without me and stuff like that? And I was talking to him about how I went on a cruise with um, one of my best friends and we went on a nine day cruise, I think it was. And it visited, we visited like seven countries. It was really, really nice. Maybe it was four. And on that cruise ship, the adults were cutting up. It's so messed up because it's like you go on a cruise and you know that adults bring their children on these cruises. But when the adults are cutting up, it's like who gonna watch the babies? So it was fights on the cruise, which just about every time I go on a cruise, there's a fight. You know, so that's just the nature of the beast when it comes to some cruises um but somebody was fighting and they fell from like the deck above the lido deck to the lido deck and i'm like it's movie night what the hell are y'all up there doing and then somebody they said somebody fell overboard and everybody had to go to their rooms now that was a first for me everybody had to go to their rooms they shut the whole damn cruise ship down when i say the whole cruise ship down they shut the whole cruise ship down so everybody had to go into their room i want to look at her because this is getting it she said baby <laughs> loving my life they shut the whole cruise ship down everybody had to go to their room we were stuck in our rooms for like hours like three hours i want to say like three four hours the boat stopped and like the boat has like a procedure that it goes through like when um somebody goes overboard it was very very scary like it was very very scary and that person was not recovered it was not recovered um i'm not sure if it ended up being like a false alarm or something but all i know is they said that it is this a school it's a creepy ass school they said that it was they did a man overboard announcement on a thing they made everybody go back to their rooms and then afterwards they told everybody you come out your room after all them hours and i'm like what i give my head what is i I give my head, my heart, and my life to my God and our nation, individuals with just, what? Is this supposed to be like the Pledge of Allegiance or something? I don't know. Do not open. Hey girl, don't worry about it. <laughs> don't you worry your frightening little head will not. So that was really scary because out of all the cruises that I've gone on, uh, Man Overboard was never, that was never one of them that I've experienced. Captain came out, all of that. It was, it was a thing. It was a thing. Like, before we knew, like, what was going on, we were, like, watching a movie. And people were, like, 
what's going on what's going on like all of the staff started like scurrying and then they just did the announcement over the intercom and they was basically like get the fuck up and go to you ain't no more movie baby ain't no we'll play it tomorrow we'll play it tomorrow we got two days at sea we'll play it tomorrow ain't no movie tonight go on go on to your room y'all can come out and get this pizza later on but what's about what's not about to happen right now is y'all about to sit here and watch this movie because we need to be on this deck and so once i saw everybody coming out i was like what the hell it was almost like they wanted to check and see before they actually did the announcement baby that was scary that was scary then some boy bust his leg open running on a damn Lido deck wet on a wet deck we like where are your parents because for some reason a lot of parents feel like i can just let my kid roam around because they're on a boat so it's like it's no place that they can go because they're on a boat and it's like although that is true watch your damn kids I get the whole notion of wanting to be able to relax and knowing that your kid is out, you know, on a cruise ship. They can't really go nowhere because they're on a cruise ship. But you are in that moment placing everybody else that's on the cruise ship in the position to care for your child, even if it's inadvertently, because people are not going to sit. That average person is not going to just like sit and watch your child do dangerous things. They're just they're going to say something about it. So we kept telling the boy, like, stop running, stop running, stop running. He kept running, fell, gashed his leg on, like, the little metal bottom part of the banister. Baby, it was a thing. It was a whole damn thing. It was a whole damn thing. So get my mom. My mom's a nut. Where the hell is your mom? Because she ain't on his deck with you. Where is she? Where is she? You're, like, nine running around this boat by yourself. What the hell is going on? This creepy ass. Cotton, look at him. He's tweaking out. He's tweaking out. <laughs> baby. Baby doing too damn much. But yeah, so the cruise ships was crazy. And I was telling him, I'm like, listen, the average person that goes overboard, baby, they're not, they don't, they don't make it back on the boat. And he was like, well, why is that? And then we went through like, how big is this Ferris wheel? And we went through like all the things because I watched a video of a man that said that he was retired from like the discovery team. And he's like the majority of the time, those people are not found. If they find them, they find a body, they find a body. And then he talked about how um, you deal with so many obstacles that you would have to overcome to even be able to survive. He's like, so if you survive falling in that cold ass water and you manage to find your way back to the top of the water if, if that happens then you gotta worry about all of the shit that's in the water because sharks and shit follow the boats is what he was saying they follow the boats because the boats you know they throw out food and stuff they dispose of food in the water so the sharks know to follow the boats and he's like so if you manage to make it through the hypothermia now you gotta now you gotta deal with whatever the fuck is in the boat thinking that you're food now if you by chance make it past whatever's in the boat thinking that you're food and you make it past the hypothermia then you have to deal with the fact that the propellers or the jets or whatever on what's in here on the um i got a big ass head again on the boat you got to hope that you can get far enough away from the boat so that your ass don't get sucked into the 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 little fans on the boat and get shredded to damn pieces he's like so if you by chance make it through all of that you have to hope that somebody on the boat sees you and if they don't see you that we see you and that you're able to stay alive long enough for help to get there so that you can survive and i'm just like all that shit stacked up against you. It's like you still have a chance to live. You still have a chance. But that chance is a fucking rarity. Why are they in the damn circus cages though? It's a damn rarity. And so I was like, that's why I'm, it's always so scary when you hear about people like falling overboard. Because it's like, baby, to fall overboard on a, on a ship and the water look like this. The water looks like this. What? 
what? And I told him the crazy thing about it is you don't have a better chance just because it's daytime. Like even if it happens and it's daytime, you still have all of the same obstacles that you have to overcome. Nothing changes because it's daytime. The only difference is, is as opposed to nighttime, people can't watch you perish in the daytime. People could watch you perish because you're still in the water. You're still facing all of those things. Everything that's in the water at nighttime is still in the water at daytime. So the only difference is, is people can see you. People can see you. So on top of everything else, people can see what's happening to you. So it's like so crazy that people allow their young children to just run around the damn boats like it's safe it's like yes you're on a boat but that shit is not safe to leave your child just can i go in here it's not safe to just leave your child unattended it it is not safe and people every cruise that i've been on i've seen like groups of children older children i get but nine ten year old ten year olds i just feel like that's a little too young unless it's somebody older with them that's a little too young to have them running around a boat on their own kids have crazy imaginations and boats are very windy when you are in certain spaces on a boat it gets very very windy and if the wind will have adults holding on to the banister it's gonna it's gonna blow a kid straight the hell off the boat straight the hell off the boat it always just makes me have such a sickening feeling in my tummy when i see People just let their kids roam free like that. It's dangerous. This looks like a little baby corn maze, but it's not. It's just a little corn field. But yeah, so um, cruise ships be crazy. So this land was pretty cool, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys tomorrow.